Hello and good afternoon. I'm Amanda Lago and this is Rappler Talk Entertainment. Today we are talking to the stars of the upcoming film Goyo Ang Batang General, which is about Gregorio del Pilar who ultimately gave up his life for the country. And that's not a spoiler because it's in the history books. So with us today is Paolo Avellino, who of course Hello. plays the title character Goyo, and Epi Kizon, who plays Apolinario Mabini. Good afternoon. Afternoon, hi guys. Thank you for joining us today and talking to us about this film. So to begin with, I guess, tell us about your characters and what they're up to in Goyo, for those who don't know. <laughs> well, I'm playing uh, Gregory del Pilar. She's known as Goyo, or Goyong to his family. Uh, uh, he is one of our national heroes, but uh, I'm playing the character where the story takes off after General, uh, General Luna's death. Yeah, so it picks up right at that yeah. point. I, I play Mabini, Apolinario Mabini. Um, some people call him Pule. Mm -hmm. um, he was known to be the light that guided the Filipino people. The source is commonly known as the sublime paralytic. Hmm. And these were characters that you played from General Luna, and now you're playing it again in Goyo. How does it, how did it feel to return to these roles three years later? Well, for me, it's different because, uh, well, there were only a few scenes in General Luna where Goyo was shown. So now that um, the film is about uh, Goyo, um, of course, you have to research more and like learn more about our history and especially the time where, when Goyo was uh, on Goy Goyo's era. Well, with Mabini, we know for a fact that he played uh, a big role in the Philippine-American War. Um, of course, at the beginning, he was, um, he was on the side of um, Aguinaldo. Actually, um, he, he remained on the side of Aguinaldo, just that after the death of Enra Luna, I think there was a kind of uh, a breakup in that relationship. Mm -hmm. And um, down to the last end, I think he was um, the president, uh, Aguinaldo, wanted to give him um, Supreme, Supreme Court justice, um, but it never, it never really happened until he was exiled to the state. So you, you know that you know, he's just around yeah. during this, these times. So it's not a big role. Yeah. Uh, in history, it was. But, in but for the film, of course, it, 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 it revolves around the character of um, Goyo. Yeah. So I think it's very important because parang Pule's words are like the backbone of oh. parang the whole film. Parang I don't want to say that earlier. Yeah. I was telling you. Yeah. Parang tatamaan kasi mga salita. I guess it's okay to talk about it. Well, that's why you should see the film. Yeah. It's really a. Um, it's it. The quotable quotes are gonna come. Yeah. From. Right. Okay. People love those quotes. I mean, they print it on stickers. Mm. Like, so I guess it, those lines are gonna be coming from your character. We'll see. Okay. So I guess people <laughs> should watch the film. Um, but when you, of course, it's the same director and sort of the same era that you're recreating. Mm. So what was that like? Was it like a reunion of sorts when you got back on set? He got a taste of most of it because <laughs> my set, you know, I, it was my kubo because, you know, I, since I was um, paralyzed, so it was just really my kubo. His set was like, I've seen some of the excerpts and uh, yeah. I was big. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From uh, Manila, Ilocos, Tarlac, wow. Bulacan, uh, basically all over Luzon, but the those north. were usually our, our places. But um, yeah, the set was different this time because uh, for this, they actually built a whole town yeah. on an exterior, an exterior town. It means wow. it's not inside a studio, it was an actual location where they had to like recreate a town. It was, uh, it was one of the things that amazed me about, about the production of Goyo. Mm. Sounds like it would be a fun place to work in, like every day you go in and then you to get a point where it, Actually, to a point where I was talking to the production manager um, yesterday, I was with him in Iloilo, and he was telling me how, how he, until now he's amazed how he, can, how he is, was able to bring like a thousand people up in the, the mountains. On, while it was raining, 
wow. feed them, house them. You know, it's just really amazing how yeah. how how big the scope is logistically compared to to um, Henerol. 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 And the thing about the mountain is, we call it Death Mountain. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's so hard to go up. Only four by four cars go up, and once it starts to rain, no cars can go down or up. So everyone had to like trek or hike. Wow. Which specific mountain is this? Uh, Mount Balagbag. Balagbag, yeah. yeah. And you had to stay there, like uh, in trailers or in tents or something? Um, yeah, there were. <laughs> Actually, uh, there are still some remnants of uh, the kubas there, but I think it's being used as, as like uh, shelter for people <laughs> who wanted who wants to stay overnight there. But, um, but yeah, it wasn't it, um, it wasn't an overnight thing, but uh, there were times where we had to shoot uh, in the evening, and it's just pitch black. <laughs> wow, so d kind of demanding yeah. stuff. Uh, earlier, you mentioned that you had to do more research coming into this role because it's Goyo's a bigger, more significant character this time around. Um, what? How did you do that research? There's so little material. Yeah that you can jump off of? Uh, I actually didn't know about these materials until uh, Gerald gave me like uh, a photocopied, uh, uh, photocopied parts of the books or the references that he read. And there were a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there were a lot. I read it several times. Um, All of it? Yeah. Well, I think he just wanted to things. share also how, how the, uh, his process on getting to write the script, you know, give us this this huge story about our, a general. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's not just um, his character, I guess. When he first, the first thing he told me was, read on this. So he gave, he also gave me um, articles about Mabini mm -hmm. and how Mabini, um, uh, what Mabini thinks about the whole war, you know, whole American, Philippine-American war. So he really just shared He's, he's, he wanted the, he wanted you to be part of that process. So I yeah. guess that's why I heard he, this guy got like a this this much of articles and writings yeah. about um, the general. How long did it take for you to to finish all that? Um, it Parent took me almost a week, and then but I had to read it several times yeah. <laughs> over a span of around five to six months and just yep. And they're not the, the, the layman the layman yeah. language already. Yeah. It's like a deep Tagalog or deep yeah. English, you know, so Formal formal language. Very formal, yeah. So what did you discover about your characters, you know, researching about them that maybe normal people don't know about? Mm. Like what's a fun fact about Well for Mabini, um, it's it's good to know that you know you, it's 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 good to know the character more um, deeper than, than than what you read. Um, of course, we all know him as the sublime paralytic, mm. and you know, actually, some of our um, countrymen doesn't even know who why he stands up, yeah. <laughs> why he doesn't stand up. No? So, yeah. so um, <laughs> actually, with that, with that whole process of people asking more about Mabini, I really did um, um, learn about him. Um, I, uh, I went deeper into who he was mm -hmm. um, to a point where now I know that he, 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 loves, that. he loves to dance before the polio. He wow. he loves to he, he was a fencer, and uh, stories like um, like people exhuming his body to to find out whether he really died of polio or sexually transmitted disease. So, so there was a they, they, they exhumed his body after eight years. Um, they exhumed his body back in the eighties, I think. Uh -huh. And to, to to find out that you know it was really he really died of polio because he had detractors yeah. um, during the the first um, during the first republic they had uh, uh, he had detractors no? so so it's been confirmed that he died of polio it was been, it has been confirmed <laughs> Just so to clarify. yeah because people would ask me did he really die of polio yeah. or or what, 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 did he was he was he paralyzed because of polio or um, SID you no know? oh, STD STD you no know? so I really had to go deeper into that yeah 
How about you, Paolo? Uh, one thing I never, I never actually knew this until we started shooting it, and I wasn't even able to read it in the materials that Gerald gave me. But Goyo had a golden tooth. Mm -hmm. I don't know where, although did you uh, wear? I didn't know, but specifically, I didn't, I didn't know where specifically. But on the shoot, if you notice and you really watch the trailer, you'd see it in front of my teeth. We're like here. Yeah, right in front, and I had to wear it all the time. Nice. So, <laughs> so I guess for people who wanna cosplay Goyo, golden tooth. Yeah. Yeah. Golden tooth is the pivotal. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know that. See, did that make you feel closer to your characters, like knowing these? kind of intimate details about them. Yeah, it did, it did. Like, the uniform alone, the cap, the ring. Like, once you get, you, um, and the sets, of course, uh, just um, every little detail, like, helps you, or will help you mm. get into character and, like, believe uh, uh, your, uh, the environment you're in is, it would really look like uh, mm. the environment that they were trying to recreate then. Yeah. Well, for me, Mabini was my all-time hero. Um, mm -hmm. Even before the character, uh, even before I played the character, I, he's my, uh, if, peop, if other um, Filipino would consider Rizal as their national yeah. hero and some would, would, um, would, would claim that it's uh, Bonifacio, yeah. well, Mabini is really? my, my, like my national hero. How did he come to be your, your guy? Because he was, uh, well, first because um, how he was educated by the, the Philippine um, educational system. Mm -hmm. um, that plus, um, he's like my, um, who's that guy? Uh, professor X. <laughs> he's right, a, right, he's right. the Professor X of Philippine history. That is so he's is the brains behind the revolution. He's the, he's the, he's the maker of laws. You know, he's, yeah. the, he's, he's the man. Yeah. For me, he, he is the man. And his backstory is like how he was so poor, but he really educated himself. Um, he didn't even have enough money to buy his suit. He had to borrow it from his mother, uh, things like that. But, you know, he, he, he strived on his own to, to, to become who he is. So, so when you got the role, like how did that feel that finally you get to play this character? Actually, years ago, that was like oh, 2014, I think. When, 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 when we were called to um, audition and honestly, I, the last audition I did was when I used to do plays. I mean, I don't do auditions because they, I usually get offered a role, no? mm -hmm. um, but I was asked to do the audition and I'm like, sure, I'll go. I went to the office of, um, of um, TBA and I saw pictures already of people, they want to cast for the for um, the, roles. the roles, no? I mean, of course, you're going to get... Um, they, they, they had the, the big ones already, except for a few, like, like Mabini. So I walked in. I didn't know who, they were, um, who, was, I, who I was um, auditioning for, so I asked people, and I, uh, they told me it was Mabini. Of course, there, there was something in, within me that, that said, yeah, yeah. I want to get this role. So the first thing I asked was, can I see the pictures? So they showed me the pictures of Mabini. They showed me the, his photo in the 10 peso bill. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and I saw, I saw, the, the, I saw the, the resemblance of the hairline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I got water. I went to the banyo, fixed my hair to, to, to reveal the hairline. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, the first thing that, I, that, that, that really entered my head is not about him being sublime or it's just really the physicalities of the character so uh, I, I guess that's where I f took on mm. on how to become the character is uh, how would it, how would it be if, how would a person feel if you're you know even if you're you know that you're the smartest person in the room but you have to call the cowals to take you to the toilet yeah. if you need to go or you can't even go to where you have to go without anyone's help. You always, constantly, you need someone around you. Like you're still so dependent. So you, you are the smartest guy in the room, but you are dependent. So that's probably that's where, that's where me, um, Ed Rocha, Sir Ed Rocha, and Gerald saw eye to eye on how to attack the character. Mm -hmm. Because in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the series, uh, General Luna, to Goyo, you won't see that 
these guys or us, we're not playing superheroes. We're not yeah. playing gods or idols that we want to put in the pedestal. We want to show you the human side of the characters. Yeah. So speaking of that, like, with Inherent Luna, it was very obvious what his human side was. Like he was um, hot-headed and all that. Mm. With Goyo, what is his sort of flaw that people might... Uh, a lot. There's a lot, actually. But I think his, his biggest flaw was immaturity. Like, right. he was given so such a big role for... Or such a, uh, so much power mm. uh, that he didn't realize... Um, how to handle it properly, mm -hmm. and he didn't realize how big of a responsibility um, um, was he carrying. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I think that was his biggest one. Imagine he was like, what, 23 years old? 24. 22 and uh, as a general, 23, wow. yeah. But he's 21. like an overachiever in that sense. He's so young, and suddenly he has all this responsibility. And he's like the favorite of the president. Yeah. Right. Does it? Does the film show how Goyo ended up becoming? Um, no, movie? it doesn't. It doesn't. But yeah. upon reading the books, you get to understand why. And then what? Why was he the favorite? Why you think? Um, a series of of, of uh, victories actually. Uh, then uh, they they came to a point that uh, he that there. Uh, he got to meet Luna in the Katipunan, I think. I, I, no, I'm uh, Aguinaldo in the Katipunan. Then uh, they needed to do something mm. or they needed to accomplish something. I'm not, I forgot specifically what it was, but I think uh, Goya volunteered and was able to do it. So when he came back, he's like... He, so he's really a talented military guy. Not the best, but defi definitely With has, he is matapang. He's okay. not a General Luna. Yeah, he's, right. not. he's not a General mm. Luna. I mean, but uh, he was he was there. He he really stood um, in between the president, who was um, trying to go to safety while the Americans were like chasing. I mean, remember um, um, the Battle of Tirad Pass is our own version of uh, the Battle of Thermopylae. Yeah. Yeah. So, 60 men. 60 men headed by yes. this guy, this guy's character. So, you know, fought against what, 2,000 Americans who was trying yeah. to chase the, 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 our government at the time. So, that sounds like a very interesting um, battle scene. Was it, what was it like to film that? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's really hard because we had to shoot it at that, at that mountain again. <laughs> and, the death mountain. And, and um, the scope of of Gerald of how Gerald wanted to shoot it was so wide it was it was actually three mountains and you would see like uh, the Americans on the other mountain while we were on this mountain and there was another it was um, geographically hard to do mm -hmm. and but uh, it was fun and uh, once you see the film you'll see how big it actually is. Yeah. You'll see rain machines, you know, if you bring rain machines, I mean, just to, to bring a rain, um, rain machines and that amount of people and th that amount of, um, that big of a production to downstairs probably is, you know, is, is hard yeah. enough. Imagine bringing that to, Mountains. to that death mountain that they're calling, you know, so, yeah. and if you see the, the, the shots, um, I don't know, it's beautiful. It's like really, really beautiful. Yeah, I in mean, the trailer alone, like you can see. Yeah, some of it was in the trailer, actually. Nice, so that's another thing to look forward mm. to. I, I, I have to see it yeah. from my own, my own eyes because, like what I said, I was in a Kubo. Yeah. Was, were you in the Kubo? <laughs> it, was hard, it, was hard, it was hard to go to that location as well. <laughs> you had to that that location, oh, actually, <laughs> Um, I don't know what Gerald wanted with that specific location, but he had to make me go through a cave, cross the river, oh through another cave, up a mountain, and it was just in a kubo. I'm like, can we just shoot this this kubo we're somewhere closer to my car? Did he but, ever explain why he uh, was there? Gerald, when, when he wants a shot, he will get it. I think that's how he's bred to become a, to be a director he yeah. he he once he finds a, a location and he wants to shoot there i think he's 
he's yeah. gonna make it happen. Yeah. What was the was that the most difficult part of filming for you, having to go through that trek? Well, the, on the third, on the second day, I think I pretended to be a real um, paralytic. So, so you had to carry. <laughs> so I had to carry me to the set. Oh really? <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, but um, yes, it was a trek. Um, I remember that day we were filming the river. After crossing the river, it rained really hard, and the river um, kind of um, rose. R r rose. Yeah. So we couldn't walk uh, cross back. So we had to wait a while until it subsided. Wow. So, so th that kind of um, it it's a good thing, no, 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 no major injuries in this production. I mean, considering that um, the production went through hell and back, no? Yeah. Wow. So it was like roughing it on set, yes. yeah, in a way. Yeah. What was the most difficult scene for you to film, Paolo? For me, a lot actually. But uh, I remember one specifically. Uh, it's this scene that we had to shoot underwater because you'd had you'd have to be like. Uh, 10, 20 feet under, mm -hmm. then there would be a shot where they could see you panic. And mm -hmm. when you're underwater and you, you don't have the, your breathing apparatus and you panic, you lose air quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you had to breathe, you had to go back up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and for you to like, well, you could put the weights on your body, but for you to actually submerge in water, you'd have to like lessen the oxygen in your body. Yeah. And try to be as calm as possible, with, which is and of hard course, when you're. I don't think the, the 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 coldness of the water doesn't really help a lot. No? Yeah, that's because you're gonna make yeah. it breathe. Was this yeah. in a, a lake or a pool or something? Uh, we shot it in the lake. Then uh, wow. we had to shoot it in the in a pool afterwards for for Charles to 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 get his shots. Wow, that sounds so intense, <laughs> and I wonder what the context of it is, which uh, yeah, I guess it's, people it's, will have to watch the film mm -hmm. for. What was your most memorable scene to shoot actually for for this film it's the um for me it's the confrontation when 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 aguinaldo visited um mabini mm. after after the henna luna after when mabini was actually writing against aguinaldo already and aguinaldo offers the the Position. The position of um, the Supreme Court Justice. Hmm. I think that's a that's a a, go, a a good moment for for the Mabinaldos. They call it Mabinaldos. <laughs> <laughs> After in the Luna, there's been a following of the two characters, and they call it Mabinaldo. Really? Yeah, so like a fan club. Well, no, no, it's not a fan club, but I guess the, it's hmm. it's it's uh, the fans of Mabini, and that that uh, that that. That um, relationship that he had with uh, with the president at that time as as the supreme uh, as the the prime minister. Mm. How about you, Paul? Memorable. Most um, memorable scene. One memorable scene uh, would be, I think, uh, when Goya was decided to like. To hold back the soldiers, or the American soldiers, for Aguinaldo. I f yeah, for Aguinaldo. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why was that memorable? It was memorable because um, throughout the film, uh, we almost shot it chronologically. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, everything was internal there. Then, uh, when that scene arrived, it, it's like you get, you finally get to realize like. Um, or finally understand, and you actually get to feel it. Parang wow, this is it. I'm actually uh, giving up my life for the better, for what I think is the better. Right. For those who, of course, for those who who don't know, um, just uh, just an advice before you do go to the theaters on September five and watch um, um, Goyo. Goyo uh, you have to look for this short film called Angelito. Mm -hmm. I don't know What's if it's coming out. It's gonna be released in public. Angelito, yeah. I know they say. I think they're gonna release it on public. I don't know how, <laughs> when it will be announced, but it will be the, the short film that will bridge Henera the two stories, okay. Henera Luna and um, actually um, Goyo. Actually, here you will al already have the feel of the 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 the. the, the 
the char his character Goyo because the brother comes out already in this film. So okay. you, you see how how I don't know what the word is. Um, you see how the 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 uh, more or less how they're gonna bring um, Goyo to life right. after you see this Angelito so film. So Angelito is who exactly? Angelito, Angelito is, is uh, the youngest Bernal brother. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you remember in, in La Luna, after the general was killed, some other people were, were assassinated or executed. Mm -hmm. And two of them were the Bernal brothers. Okay. So in our history, the, the Bernal brothers play a big part uh, of, that, of, that, um, of those issues at that time. Okay. And this short film is going to... Bridge, bridge, that. bridge the, the two stories. Oh, it, it's it's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> when are so you? It's like, a, it's like a teaser of the it was actually, new film. They showed it before, uh, during I'm, I'm drunk, I love you two years ago, but um, a lot of things happened and they had to change some mm. things. <laughs> so I, guess I just saw it. I just saw it um, yesterday. We should watch out for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, watch out for Angelito. Angelito. Is yeah. it going? I hope it's going to be online so that people can. Yeah, it will be online. Yeah. Just online before God. Okay. Up considering the success of, you know, Henry Luna, I mean, speaking about bridging the two films mm -hmm. together, do you feel any sort of pressure, or did you feel any pressure, considering you know it was Henry Luna was so successful? Um, for me, the only pressure is um, will 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 people remember? Will people remember to go back to the cinemas and? Mm -hmm. and and um, be part of this cultural revolution yeah um, will people remember the passion they had posting online after seeing the film you know uh, if you remember back um Henry luna on the, the first three first week we we were we were kind of literally like almost, um, out of the almost out of the cinema after three days and then it's the it's the 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 people who were online who were, who were the netizens it was the, the netizens who actually helped bring us back to the cinema so if you remember that if they can remember that passion i mean that's hard to top yeah. so actually the pressure is will they remember for me will they remember that same passion they had after seeing it mm. and will that passion continue on mm. Did it affect your performance at all? Like knowing that there is this, some you have to bring this out of the audience again. Boom. Uh, um, no, actually. Yeah. <laughs> of course, we try to concentrate on our characters and mm -hmm. how the script is, uh, but um, it didn't. Um, once you once once you think about these things. Upon, when doing a project, that's when you get distracted. So I think mm, exactly. uh, we both uh, yeah. share something in common that we try to concentrate. Yeah. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah. So that's our problem now. Right. <laughs> we have, um, you just think about sahan, it. Yeah. Sahan namin problem. Actually, the good thing about the producers, of course, you know, this is um, I don't know how, how many millions they spent for this film, but uh, um, so far this is actually um, so far this is the most the, the biggest. Um, production of that has been spent already, okay? Mm. I'm, I'm sure there are going to be other productions there who's going to top what they spent for this film. But for what the producers shelled out, the best gift that they want in return, of course, of course they want to make the money back, but the best gift that they want in return is a film that will be there for us to, to digest as Filipinos. Yeah. A, a, a film for, for every Filipino out there. Yeah. So, um, I, that's why for me, I think that the biggest pressure is to bring the passion back. Mm. But of course, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure the producers who shelled out money for this film, of course, one of the biggest pressures also is, you know, um, getting that, that money back because yeah. it's not, um, after you see the film, you, you see why people need to support the film because it's really huge. It's really huge. Scale-wise. Scale-wise and all that. Everything. It's really huge. Um, when after Henry Luna, I think, you were talking about that passion. And I think it really awakened in people, you know, like after watching it, they're like, oh my gosh, what can I do for my country? Um, it awakened that nationalism. Mm. As people who played 
these characters who you know sacrificed their lives for the country did that have did it affect you in that way as well in the film well for me i'm uh i'm actually directing a, a film right now with tba as well um it's called bukal it's uh, an advocacy about the war in mindanao uh, well somehow somehow um Somehow I want to I want to to be part of that 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 cultural revolution, mm. and that's why I'm, I'm I'm producing and directing stuff that that that's somehow connected to to um, us um, learning about ourselves, learning about our culture, learning about how we can be part of the solution and not part of the problem. Yeah. At the same time, learning by our mistakes, you know. Um, that's that's what uh, one of the comments or one of the um, most of the comments um, were during the Henry the, uh, after people watching Henry Lula was uh, it's the same thing that's happening like the yeah. problems then are still the problems yeah. now and exactly. why are we still like this you know when can we change when 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 can we actually uh, get what we as Filipinos mm. deserve. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Now, the funny thing is that, you know, you know that our past is actually showing us that it's the same as the present. And if we don't act on it, it's going to be the same for our future. So basically, that's the, I think, the, the biggest, um, the biggest um, um, contribution of films like this. No? Yeah. It's like really for us to know how we can, we can um, get a better future. Not repeat. No, and not and, and not make it repeat itself. Yeah. So, what do you think uh, when when people go see this on September five? What do you think their biggest takeaway will be? Because in in Henry Luna, I think it was like bayan sa That yeah. was the question that stuck in everyone's minds. So, what's it gonna be this time? The tagline of the film actually now is uh, "Kilala mo ba kung sino ka?" Mm. Which very um, millennial. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, very millennial in a way, but. Uh, it's a, it's it's like asking yourself also as a country, kilala mo ba kung sino ka, Pilipinas? Mm -hmm. Paano paano mo makikilala ang sarili mo kung hindi ka titingin o lilingon sa nakaraan? Mm -hmm. Kundi kundi ka matututo sa mga pagkakamali mo. Kung hindi mo alam kung saan ka patungo, kung hindi mo alam kung anong prioridad mo. So, it, let's Exactly. Just, How, really actually na, when na, when na. when I when I remember I remember after after the Luna, they, they, there's this group of people ask me but di ka tumatayo. Actually, um, it's it's a bit funny. It is actually at that time when they asked me, I thought they were joking. But you know, I went home. I asked my daughter, "Do you know who Mabini is?" And the daughter goes, "Yeah, he's the sublime paralytic." Okay, so so in a way, okay yon, di ba? But but for for not but but for other people who doesn't know. We cannot not who know who Mabini is. Yeah. We cannot not know who Mabini is because Mabini is actually the, the brainchild of our laws right now. Yeah. So if you don't know who Mabini is, you don't know who you are. So if you don't know who Gregory Del Pilar and his, 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 his um, contributions to, 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 to Philippine history, then I don't think you know, you, you know who you are. Yeah. You cannot not know your 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 roots. You cannot not know Rizal. You cannot not know um, Bonifacio. I mean, you have to know these people. You have to know what 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 we fought for. Yeah, not the freedom, well, the, the freedom that we have now. Like people, there were sacrifices. Exactly the, those those sacrifices. Exactly we have to we have to know that. We have to know the the. What happened? I mean, cause if if we don't, then you know we will forever be lost in an abyss. We call Filipinos, but you know we don't have like an anchor. Or a, yeah. A, the it's nice. Also, it's it's. I think the film will um, will raise people's interest to like research more on the Philippine American War because there's. It's a starting a, a, point. Yeah. To be honest, there's so many, so much BS about about mm. what what was what peop, what uh, we are taught right. about about uh, this this era or even even past before that or even during the World War and 
uh, it's nice for people to know or to research and actually find answers to what they would believe that actually happened then. Mm. I'll, I'll say something that might be political or controversial for, <laughs> for historians yeah, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll be blunt. I mean, we lost the war. After losing the war, history was replaced. I'm, an, I'm, I'm, I'm actually half American, mm. but I'm born Filipino though. <laughs> uh, I'm a Smith. Yeah. I'm a Smith. My, my mother's American. They're there in the, in the States. I mean, you know, I'm half American, but you know, I, I still am Filipino by heart. So I still am a Filipino. And I would say that you know, uh, after the Philippine-American War, especially after being, being one of the cast of um, General Luna and me learning about, about the Philippine-American War, they change our history. Right. And we are just trying to correct our history. And if you not, if you don't, if you that, that's why we all have to be part of this. This you, we, we all scream for change. Change is here. It's, we're, we're giving. We're, we're, this film is like one of the avenues where we can actually be together as Filipinos, learn about their history, and be part of that change. Be part of the all. But first, you have, the first step is you have to know who you are. Mm. So the tagline again mm. goes. So would you say that this film is a more accurate version of our history? They try to make it as accurate as possible, although you can't. Parang hindi na kaya. You can't be. You can't to say, be yeah. very accurate because so no one, no one was actually, no one's alive to tell the tale. Yeah. Right. So uh, we loosely base it on a lot of a, a lot of materials and. Even the materials contradict each other, so you'd have to choose yeah. which mm -hmm. one. It's, it's, it's like, you know, he said, she said. It's, yeah. like, it's, 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 uh, it's he, he said, she said. So this is just a more, um, um, I think Gerald's, Gerald's way of telling the, 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 our history has a, an approach where is not, um, is not what you're expecting. Okay. His approach is really, really... Um, Opening the Pandora's box, so the people have something to talk about. I mean, nothing majestic. Nothing majestic. Uh, we, we're not like like what I said. We're not putting Goyo as a, on a pedestal and making him a, an idol for us to 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 pray on or to to live our lives because you know he's he's. You know, I mean, you you see that he um, he's a womanizer. You see how you know you, you see the you see how how arrogant he can be as well. Mm -hmm. How, uh, how young he is as an immature, as a general. So you see all this. You see, um, may, may, may part that it, it, it kind of shows how, how, how ruthless you are. Yeah. Remember when they, when they caught, uh, well, anyway, the, the first but part. You see, you see. <laughs> well, spoiler alert. No spoilers. <laughs> anyway, but, um, but yeah, you, yeah. You see the, you see the, the, you the see the, the, the flaws of the characters. and You see that they're just human. So it's a good, I guess, it's a good starting point for anyone who wants to dive deeper into, into our history. And I hope, I hope that's what people end up taking away yeah. ap after the film. So I guess on that note, um, thank you guys for right. talking to us. But is there anything else you want to perhaps say about the film? Well, definitely it's a, uh, it's a must-see. It's a must see. Um, we um, we ask for any, everyone's support to, to promote it as well. Um, it's something. It's 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 a good take on how you you can actually learn how to know your roots, know um, know where where we are at the present, and know how to get to our future. It's a good take on us. Um, to show unity, mm. it's a good take on us to 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 know what to tell our kids. Mm. So please do, please do support um, Goyo ang Batang General, September five. I'm um, starring Paolo Avellino, uh, of course. Happy keys on. I'm, 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 I'll be playing Mabini as well. Um, you have other big names in the film. It's a really, really big production that um, um, you'll get your money's worth. Um, while while you are actually educating yourselves about our, our history, um, so please um, please.
please do support us in uh, promoting it. Um, shout out your memes uh, on your Facebook again as, as how you've done for Henra Luna. Um, see you September 5. Uh, for me, all the fight and all the support you did for Henry Luna didn't go to waste. All the money you spent in the cinemas didn't go to waste. Here we are with a bigger film, even bigger than, than Henry Luna. Uh, and all the support and all the earnings that you actually, that uh, the producers actually got, are all here in Goyo with even more. So um, it's, it's always nice to support producers who actually invest on films, uh, on quality films, and uh, who, who never stop to better the quality, not just uh, of, Philippine, of, Philipp of our Philippine movies. And uh, yeah, so Goyo, Goyo Ang Batang General is now out on September 5. I hope you get to watch it. I hope uh, you get to um, let, let people know or let, or let us know about your comments on the film or or kung ano ba talaga, kung si, paano ba talaga maging bayani, kung sino bang pwedeng maging bayani, uh, and how it, it will or will not make an impact in your life. Well said. Right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. This is Rappler Talk Entertainment.